This video is about finding a root or solving an equation using a method called iteration. Iteration is a repetitive method where you get an answer, you put that back in, you get another answer, put that back in, you get another answer, put that back in, and you get increasingly closer to the actual root by following the method. In order to solve an equation using iteration, we use an iteration formula. Now, it'll, it'll often be given to you, but to start with here, I'm going to show how to set one up as well. So we're going to show that, well, we're going to solve the equation 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 equals 0. And to set up an iteration formula, we're going to rearrange that into the form. So it is x equals. So in this case, we're going to go to x equals 7 over 2x plus 3. So we're going to rearrange this now. So the first step would be to add 7 to both sides. And then we're going to factorize out an x. So take x outside the bracket, which leaves 2x plus 3 inside the bracket equals 7. And then divide both sides by 2x plus 3, which gives us 7 over 2x plus 3. So we've rearranged the equation into the form x equals and now to change it into an iteration formula we add a little m plus 1 on the side where x is by itself and we add an n so 2xn to any x's on the other side. So in this case there's only one x so we change that to xn. And there we have, we've set up an iteration formula. So let's look at using an iteration formula now. So we're going to use the iteration formula that we've just found, starting with x0, which is going to be 1.5, to find the first four iterations, x1, x2, x3, and x4. So... Let's look at this n plus 1 and n thing here. So in order to find x1, so imagine n was 0, then you'll have 0 plus 1, which is 1, equals 7 over 2, and this would be x0 plus 3. So we're going to substitute in the first one here to get, to get out the second one. And we're going to substitute in x1 to get out x2 and we're going to substitute in x2 to get out x3 and so on so we just find an answer substitute it back in then find the answer substitute it back in find the answer substitute it back in and we can keep going following that process and each iteration each answer will be closer and closer to the actual root as long as the formula works so Let's do this now. So we're going to start with 1.5. So x1 is going to be 7 over 2 1.5s plus 3. So we can just type that into the calculator. And to three significant figures, we should get out 1.17. Now we could substitute that back in. But in order to get a more accurate answer and to make it easier, we can just in our calculator write answer, an ANS button, which you should be able to find on your calculator next to the equal sign. So 7 over 2 times the answer plus 3. And just type that into the calculator. And you get out x2. So 1.31 to three significant figures and then because we've already got answer written in the calculator we can just click equals again and that gives us 1.24 to three significant figures and we could just click equals again and that'll give us x4 which is 1.28 to three significant figures and you could keep on pressing equals 
and getting increasingly accurate answers until it gets so accurate that the calculator won't be able to give you any more accuracy. So if you keep pressing equals, you'd end up with 1.26556437. And then the calculator won't give you any more accuracy than that. And that will be your answer for the root. Okay, here's another question. We've been given the iteration formula and we're going to start with x0 as 1.3 and we're going to find x1, x2, x3 and x4 to four significant figures. So x1 first. So x1 is going to be the fourth root of 7 minus 3 1.3s. So we type that into the calculator. And we get out to four significant figures, 1.327. Then to find x2, we're going to do the full fruit of 7 minus 3, lots of the answer. So we're going to use the answer button again to make it easier for ourselves. And to four significant figures, 1.318. Then we just press the equal sign to get x3, which is 1.321. And again, for x4, which is 1.320. And that is all we need to do. Here's another question. Pause the video, give it a go, and then press play again to go through the answer. Okay, so x1 is going to be the square root of 0 0.5 plus 2 over 2 0.5s plus 5. So we've got two x's this time. That doesn't make a difference. We just substitute the value into both of them. So type it into the calculator. So we get 0 0.645 to three decimal places. And then for x2, change it to answer. So type answer into the calculator where you have x. And we get 0 0.648 x3 press equals again 0 0.649 and one more time 0 0.649